What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Collector KP. We got a unique video today. We're going to be doing a box battle between Chilling Rain, aka Chilling Pain, and Fusion Strike. Two of the sets that really haven't gotten a whole lot of love uh, compared to Evolving Skies and the brand new Brilliant Stars, which will be coming to this channel very, very soon. Uh, expecting a whole bunch of boxes coming uh, this week. However, I wanted to kind of do something interesting today. So, Chilling Rain, we'll start off with that. Top cards in this set, you got the Galarian Moltres. Um, you got, what else we got? Shiny Snorlax, you got Blaziken, VMAX, Alternate Art as the top cards in the set. And then Fusion Strike, you got pretty much Gengar VMAX and uh, Sylveon, or no, Espeon VMAX, Alternate Arts. So... We're going to kind of do a little uh, little challenge to see which box is the absolute worst. We didn't bother with Battle Styles because we have everything that we need from Battle Styles and that gets a zero love. Those hits from that box have just been completely awful for many of us, including me, and I refuse to spend any more money on that set. But Chilling Rain and Fusion Strike, honestly, have been some of my more favorite sets. Chilling Rain has a lot of great cards in it regardless of how bad the pull rates are. Fusion Strike has been absolutely wonderful to me in terms of pull rates. So we're going to get right into that. We're not going to do the card tricks for any of the packs because these are not new boxes. And we're going to fly through as so as not to make this video too long. So hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of the polls here. Give a thumbs up for the fun content. And we're going to be getting ready for Billion Stars coming this week as well. Enjoy. Alright, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to start off with Chilling Rain since that seems to be the least popular of the two. And we'll go right through that. We got our beautiful Shining Legends mat back up because I like to rotate them and keep, keep showing off some of the really cool mats from the previous sets. So we'll go right through this set and we'll see what color we can pull from the Chilling Rain booster box here. Take all these. I don't know why I bother folding that over. So we're gonna pull the packs out here, and we're not even gonna bother doing the card trick, so we can just fly through this video. Just since we have two boxes to blow through, and we will show off the code cards, of course. So here we go with the Chilling Rain booster pack or booster box. There is pack number one. Let's get the code cards into focus. And we'll go through, we got a Deerling and a Galarian Surfetched. We got Zapdos pack next up. So yeah, I really didn't mind Chilling Green. I thought it was a pretty solid set. Um, there's some pretty decent alternate arts in the set. Oh, we got a Welcoming Lantern as our secret rare for the box. So that is not going to bode very well for Chilling Green as far as the pole the um, overall value of the box i'm sorry unless we can hit an alternate art from this from this box as well oh man that is not good for chilling rain so it's just reinforcing pretty much what we already know we got bunnet and someone comes there i do like shadow rex uh shadow rider cow rex v max i'm really surprised honestly that it his that it hasn't hit uh the meta as hard as we really anticipated here Fire resistant gloves and sauce buck. All right, so I'm beginning to understand why people didn't like Chilling Rain. I've opened up a lot of Chilling Rain, honestly, and it hasn't been too bad, honestly, but you know, these packs are just really super hit or miss. Sneasel, Malmar, yeah, so I don't know. The artwork in the set is beautiful. The Galarian birds look absolutely stunning. Obviously, Moltres is probably my top favorite, but Articuno is a very close second. And what we got here, we got a Hollow Rare Cobalion. There's the code cards. I might just show the code cards last instead. So, Welcoming Lantern, I think that's like a $3 Hollow. Something really garbage. Just Dynatree Hill, Spirit Tomb is the rare. There we go. So, shout out, quick shout out to Apex TCS, one of my favorite vendors on Instagram. He's going out of business. He's actually, well, I shouldn't say that. He's selling his business. What do we got here? Kekleon. And um, he hooked me up with some very cheap boxes going, uh, going out of business sale. So, I'm going to really miss him. He's an amazing guy. I've tagged him in quite a few of my videos here as just being a reliable um you know, vendor, Pokemon vendor. So I'm definitely gonna miss him a ton. So shout out to him. And just know that 
I really appreciate everything that you've done for me. And I will definitely miss you. And best of luck in your future endeavors. So Viper, and we got a Tornadus V. Pat to the Peaks, I'm really hoping that Pat to the Peaks gets a full art, or gets a, uh, a secret pair makeover, so that would be fantastic. Well, we got here, oh, we got a Tornadus VMAX, all right. We're starting to hit some of the, starting to hit some stuff here. There's still like $2 hollows, but it's all right. Let's see what we can do here. Let's switch these up a little bit. And I will most likely, once I start popping open that Fusion Strike box, um, I'll just move the pulls from this box over to the side. So, and then we'll recap, obviously. Got my stuff over here. Hoping that we can maybe hit one of the alternate arts to maybe make this a little bit more interesting. But we will see Thundras, Zangoose, and nothing there. Got to lower this chair or something. Make it easier for me to reach the trash can and remove these wrappers out. Keep looking at the code cards by accident. Clobopus, Scovet, and Arillaboom is the hollow rare. Oops. I'm not used to doing it this way. Showing the code card. <laughs> Last instead of first. All right, so we got Aaron, we got Ralts. What is our is sticking here? Boyzikin V. All right, so we got another V hit. So that's four hits for the box so far. If I remember correctly, I think Chilling Rain was one of the sets that I hit. Maybe it's Evolving Skies. I think one one of these sets I hit like an ungodly an ungodly number of hits. It was like 13 hits in the entire box. Into these V Maxes, trainers, and stuff like that. So we'll see. Four hits so far. We already had our secret rare, which doesn't bode very well. Uh, Old Cemetery Reverse and Spirit Tomb is the rare Zapdos pack. Would even actually really like to open that. Uh, what do you call it? Shadow Rider on Ultimate Heart V Max, or even the Shadow Rider V. That would be really, really cool. Coughing, we got Larion and Galarian Weezing is the rare in that pack. So you guys let me know what your guys' favorite pulls from each respective set, Chilling Rain and Fusion Strike are. I'm actually very curious. Or if you're just totally done with both sets and you're just like, nope, don't even care. Because <laughs> I know a lot of people are, are definitely in that boat right now. Especially with Brilliant Stars being as amazing as it is. We got the character rares in the reverse rare slot, which is really, really cool. And along with amazing an amazing uh, main set. So it's really hard not to not to enjoy not to enjoy that set. Kitlin and a Walrin. Moving right along. I actually haven't pulled Kitlin yet. Venipede, Zeb Striker, what do we got sticking? Galarian, Zapdos V. So three V hits, a V Max, and a Welcoming Lantern Secret Rare. Looks like we're about half the way through this pack, so we're flying through. I right, guess so we're just kind of doing this rather quickly just to kind of. I'm interested to see what pulls we can get from the boxes, and I don't really want to spend a whole lot of time opening up packs that. People have already seen opened up many many times, but I think it'd be very really cool. I thought this concept was kind of cool. Thunderous rare, and there's the code card there. So let me know in the comment section if you guys like this kind of box battle. I'm thinking about doing one with Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies since Evolving Skies is actually increasing in value uh, very quickly because um, of the unavailability of Evolving Skies. So. I know that with the subset of Brilliant Stars, it you know might skew the overall value of the box. But honestly, the uh, subset cards really aren't going for that like crazy amounts. Aren't, like they're super high. So I think the gold rares are going for like 20 bucks a piece. So I don't know. Let's see what we got. Articuno V. So we got four Vs, um, a V Max, and a Secret Rare. Hopefully that's not it for this box to go. It'd be very unfortunate for Chilling Rain and just reinforce everyone's dislike for the set. Go Lurk! Oh my gosh, we got a Lipar V4, so that would probably... That is definitely taking the slot of the uh, alternate art. That is very unfortunate for Chilling Rain. Very, very unfortunate. So, kind of glad that I wasn't seriously pursuing that 
boys again, VMAX. Oh, it's an art, because I don't know. Someday I'll pull it. One of these days, Chilling Rain is definitely a set that gets thrown into a lot of box sets um, freely, so <laughs> there is never a shortage of this set. Plus, they can get relatively cheap, honestly. I got these boxes for about 60 bucks a piece, so. And uh, a lot of these polls are gonna be going straight into my poll games on Instagram that I've been holding. So we got four, five, six, four, yeah, seven, seven hits so far, expecting one more hit, hopefully, in the next couple packs. Oh, we got a four, Melanie, so that should boost up the value of this box a little bit. I think that's like a 20, I think it's $25 or $30 card. So it looks like we got 35, 25, 33, 40, ah, $40 worth of cards right here out of Chilling Rain so far. That Melody definitely helped boost up the value of this box. Kufu passing me in. There we go. Looks like we got three packs to go for the Chilling Rain box. And then we'll move right along to a Fusion Strike. And Talion with the quick shooting ability. It's actually a pretty, pretty solid card. Sable Drizzile lineup is amazing, and the Italian um, shady dealing, so Italian substantially better. But for spread decks that like to spread the love slash damage counters, it's not a bad option. So last pack of the Chilling Rain booster pack, I'll tell you the value of these cards here uh, after I have this video edited, and we'll see who won. But uh, unless the Fusion Strike box actually absolutely crashes on me, it looks like Fusion Strike has already pretty much got this in the bag. So we'll put these pulls here, we'll lay them all out once we have this Fusion Strike box open. So we'll put those right there. There's a the Fusion Strike box. Kind of enjoy being able to blow through these boxes without having to, oh my gosh, spend time on card tricks and all that fun stuff. All right wrapper bag out here. Fusion Strike, what do we have? Hopefully we pull that Espeon VMAX, because that is the one card that we do not have from this set. So do not get an alternate art from uh, Chilling Rain. Hopefully we hit gold. Oh my God, these packs are bad to open. Hopefully we hit gold or something good with Fusion to Strike. So Sizzlipede, Azumarill is the first hit of this box first pack of this box I should say not really a hit I hate whenever these wrappers are super short you can't really grip them either all right so what we got here we got an Elisa sparkle very cool toxicity rare there's the code card oops for that and moving right along actually I mean fusion strike doesn't really that bad of a set it had some pretty cool trainers fusion <laughs> Strike Pokemon didn't really seem to take off too much aside from Mew, VMAX, but there's so much stuff that just kind of 1Ks it and makes it a little relatively better in development. So, especially with Battle Region coming out next. Well, coming out after Brilliant Stars, I should say. I don't even know what the actual title is going to be. Grimm's Now and a Break Dancing Kangaskhan. So, <laughs> I really thought, honestly, like I said, that. The oh, Shadow Rider Cowrex VEX would be dominating the meta, but it has not. So, very surprised about that. There we go. I remember the first the first Fusion Strike video that I put out, the Build and Battle boxes, I had, I think, what, two gold cards? Like, just something outrageous. Gunsparce. Man, we are hitting nothing out of this box just yet, but I know all the pulls <laughs> are probably safe for the bottom of the box. As there we go. These short wrappers are not making my e my life easy. Skarmory and Steelix. These code cards are. Look at this. These code cards are just bur going through the ringer or something. I don't know. Or went through the dryer before they got packaged up in these boxes or in this box anyway. Staryu and an Inteleon V Max. So not the Ultimate Art. Not the not that the Ultimate Art is worth that much. But there we go. Inteleon VMAX with the double gunner ability, letting you discard uh, water energy and putting damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. I forgot about that. Not that it's even, <clears throat> hasn't really seen that much play. So, yeah. Very cool card, though. Oh my gosh. I'm 
really, really struggling with opening these packs. Got Siffler, got Sharpedo, and an Oracorio. There we go. And let's see what the next pack here. Actually, wouldn't mind pulling another Mesa Sparkle. I actually really like the artwork on that card. Latios, what do we got? And a Genesect V. So we hit, starting to hit some of them V hits as well. We we can get an ultimate art to show off to flex on Chilling Pain. Shouldn't be that hard to really KO Chilling Rain with the, well, the this box anyway. That's so more. There we go. But we'll see. Chilling Rain could take home the W if we hit nothing out of this Fusion Strike, which I've opened up Fusion Strike boxes and hit nothing but Vs. And I think I got a really bad trainer. Cloyster is the rare in that pack. We've already pulled two Gengar. Could we pull a third Gengar? That would be actually pretty cool too. Mankey, Luxio, and Meloda is the non hollow rare. on the front here. Let's see what we got. Loon and Deoxys Hollow Rare is the hollow out of that pack. Forgot about this lonely left sided stack here. Rotom, let's see what we got here. Pancham and a Starmie Hollow Rare. Nothing super spectacular there. Another Gengar pack. Come on, an Espeon a Remax. Frostmoth, Vickabolt, and the good card. Oh, looks like we're almost nearing on the halfway mark here. What do we got? Oh, uh, it's an Alpha Star V. Oi, we're just gonna count the V hits as one dollar a piece, cause if that, <laughs> if that, because some of them aren't even worth that much, honestly. Uh, I'm just absolutely mauling these packs here, and we got a Mew V Max. So it looks like. It looks like this Fusion Strike box is going to be overtaking the Chilling Rain box very easily since Mew VMAX is still a meta card. I think that VMAX goes for about 30 some dollars right now. So we are pretty much dead even right now if we pull one more uh, decent banger from Fusion Strike. It looks like Fusion Strike is going to take home the W. That's Mew VMAX. Let's see what else we can get though. Tynamo, what is sticking here? Uh, Arachnid. Arachnoid? I don't know how to say that thing. All right. Oh my gosh. See how short these tabs are? It makes it very hard to open up these packs and not just completely maul them like I'm doing right now. I refuse to get scissors for English packs. Not that I open Japanese packs up with scissors either. Not that bad. Mantine, Phantump. Phantump is always the card that precedes the big banger I get in Fusion Strike boxes. All right, so we got Mankey, Plusle, and a Latios non hollow. Burning through over halfway through the box, we have four hits thus far. Looks like we got a Stuffle up first, Diggersby, and an Absol, which is nothing spectacular there. A lot of non hollows. I've actually noticed the brilliant stars, but there's a lot of hollow rares in that set, so definitely not a complaint. Makuhita, Cloyster, Corviknight. There we go. What does. I guess this Fusion Strike box is saving all of the big hits for the second half. And Latios and a Feraligator hollow rare. Very cool. Oops. Almost forgot that code card there. All right. In this Fusion Strike box. Klefki, oh, a Chili Celian and, Cr and Cress is the secret rare for this box, which is very, very disappointing. That's like a $5 full art trainer. Well, no, it's not a secret rare, it's not a secret rare. Excuse me, it's the full art, so. We should be expecting a secret rare of some type. A Bolton V. So there are six hits from this box. We've got a full art trainer, two V Maxes, and three Vs. And still looking for the big hitter, whether it's a secret rare, um, secret rare, or an alternate art. There we go. Uh, most of the time, the full art trainers will take the slot of the alternate arts, but we will see. Simiseer and Mark Cactus. I don't know. 
So we got six packs? Let's say six packs left to go here. There we go. Jinx and Azumarill again. Can't remember if there's a gold quick ball in this, in this uh, set. I don't believe it. Oops. All right. We've got Trubbish, a Reverse Trubbish, and an Oracorio once again. We've got four packs to go. What is the big hit in this box? Melanie was the big hit, and that was almost one of the last packs. In the Chilling Rain, Sima Power. Oh my gosh, it's another, it's another V hit. I don't know, this is gonna be kind of close. I'm gonna have to do some uh, TCG player browsing to see who's actually gonna come out on top of the overall value of these boxes, unless this Fusion Strike box comes in clutch in these last couple of packs. Stantler, Huntail, and Junk. We got seven hits so far, hoping to get an eighth hit for the big hit of the box. Let's see. Drillbur, Corsola, uh-oh. We're down to the last Fusion Strike box. It'll be very close. This is gonna come down to the wire if this is not a hit for Fusion Strike. This is really disappointing, honestly. And, oh my gosh, it's a Grimmsnarl Hollow. So, these boxes were, <laughs> wow. I definitely would not have paid anything close to retail for these boxes. So we got two V Maxes. I'll just put them on top here. A full art trainer and four awful V's out of the Fusion Strike box. Let's see if we put those right there and those right there. And then out of the Chilling Rain box, at least we hit a secret rare, but not, not worth a whole heck of a lot. But we hit four Pokemon V. We got a V Max. We got a full art a V, a full art trainer, and a welcoming lantern so you guys let me know what you think in the comment section as far as who won in terms of uh overall coolness of the box <laughs> flair of the box and i will do the math and i'll have it set up right here this will be the price for chilling rain and this will be the price for fusion strike as uh priced currently today on tcgplayer.com and we'll see what happens well, I guess we know why both of those sets are among the least favorite sets of Sword and Shield. Man, that was rough. We had zero alternate arts, uh, one really god-awful secret rare, and uh, Melanie was cool. I guess Melanie will probably be my favorite hit from the uh, opening today. So let me know in the comment section what hit was your favorite from today. If you like the style of video, I know I went a little bit faster just to kind of get through the packs. And if you guys would like to see a Brilliant Stars versus Evolving Skies showdown. So hope you guys enjoy. Leave a thumbs up for some love. And let me know what you guys all think in the comment section. I will see you soon for Brilliant Stars.